All right, guys, can you see me? Yeah, you can. We got some bad news, folks. But before we go with the bad news, check the trunk. All vacuumed, cleaned, and everything. All what I need to do is just simply wipe it, and that should basically do that. This area over here, don't freak out, is just a surface rust. So I just uh, sand it properly, put stop uh, prevention, and after that I applied some primer. So it's just as a precaution. Trust me as a precaution. The bad news though, it's here. This is the back window, and this is the seal rubber seal and if you remove it let me just show you what I'm talking about this plastic piece basically used to be here and it has just a couple of screws you just unscrew them and you're good to go you get it out as you get it out you'll be able to see the tabs where it hold on to see now this is just dirt just dust this is the problem one of them is rusted basically this piece supposed to be here in the middle and it's rusted yep so uh, what i did sanded it removed all the metal and like i'm not done yet but like yeah some metal that uh, needs to be removed once that is done then we'll put stop prevention uh, rust uh, stop and after that we're gonna find a template of metal in order to put it there Hopefully that should solve the problem. Yep, see, in order to fix something, you're gonna have to tear down a bit more. All right, cool. And ta-da! Look at it. You see? There you go. This is the part that I need. All what I need to do is clean this area properly. And same with here. And we're good to go. Ta-da! Now, if you want to know how did I end up getting the exact piece that I'm after, let's take a trip back in time to show you exactly how did that happen, okay? Okay guys, now to some of you it may look like just your normal junkyard, but to the Prelude fanatics, this is car heaven, or should I say Prelude heaven. Just check it out. That's one two three four and five five preludes which means five spare parts that you can take from my god look 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 i think this is second gen both of them and the rest the three gen so the third generation see see we're halfway there we're halfway there and you've got another one and I'm going to show you inside the parts that has been stored so far and the guy behind this. He's a legend. He is by far the prelude godfather. He knows everything about him. He got all the parts you need. So all of you guys in Australia, all the whole world, if you need any prelude parts, you need to check him out. He is the man. I'll put the link uh, in the description for his uh, contacts and his Insta account and everything. You can easily reach him out. And probably you're going to see it on the screen as well. Uh, let's go and meet the guy. All right, guys, can you see me? Yeah, you can. So behind me, the heaven that we talked about. Let's go meet the legend, Kevin. Kevin, hey. meet my people. Hey guys, there how are you? Go. There you go. <laughs> nice this is Kevin. You, this is the godfather of preludes, man. <laughs> he knows everything. He got everything. So, Kevin, talk to me. What do we got over here? Well, all around here we got five preludes. Just mm -hmm. uh, third gen for the big part of it. So we got three third gen, 87, 88, 88. And then we got two baby here, which has two second gen. Uh, they are 85 SI version, so fuel injected. Uh, the one on the left will be restored with this one and this baby here then will be track until death There you go. <laughs> so we're gonna track the shit out of this one. We're gonna do some burnouts We're gonna do some a lot of things. Are you gonna put a, a cage inside yeah, or just no. go over it? Just go over there it. There you go. Inside. Send it. We're gonna send it just <laughs> like that uh, Kevin you want to take us inside just so that we can yeah, see sure. what sort of uh, parts that you have? Yeah, come on. 
All right. All right, guys. Have a look. This is the garage. And so welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, well, I got pretty much everything. Whatever you need, it's here at some point. You got all air intake, radiators. I don't know, just name it, it's here, alternators, power steering pump, alternators, like distributor, garnish, headlights, just name it, name it, name it here. I mean, look, 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 you've got everything that you need, and every you think, single thing. When you think it's over, there is more here, All right. have a look. Let's follow. So, over there, this is where we saw all the big parts, so doors, bonnets, fenders, boots. Spoiler for what I have left over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Into your parts, into your trim, seat belts, and yeah. just there we have so door cards, door cards as well. Full dash and behind the dash we got some nice sunroof system and sunroof. There you go. Pretty there you go. Everything. So technically, technically, it is fair to say that Kevin, you got almost ninety-five percent of everything. Yeah. How many cars do you say in total that you have with parts and everything over here? Uh, I, I would say realistically I should be around five cars. There you go. Five complete cars. So you've got parts for everything that you need. Kevin, you are a legend. <laughs> Let's go hunt for some parts for our project, guys. Kevin, thank you so much, my friend. More than welcome. Thank you, thank you, buddy. My pleasure. We got all the parts <laughs> that we need for now, so thank you. Please check Kevin. I'll put the link in the description for you guys to follow up. Anything, just give him a shout out. He'll be more than happy to help you. And parts wise, he is okay to sell and ship as well, okay? Everything for the price, though, okay? I'll catch you up at home, okay? Bye. <laughs> And now guys, we made it home and we got our goodies. Before we start into diving in and tell you exactly what I got, let me just show you this. This is the bushing set that I got, Super Pro. And this is basically a set. Well, according to the description, this is the part, SPF 2061K. This is suspension part, front and rear upper control arm inner. Okay, this is bolt-on exact fit for Honda Prelude. These are the goodies that we got from our friend Kevin. Uh, let's start with this. This is the wood tray thingy that basically covers up the spare part, spare wheel. These are the trims for the door or weather seal per se for both doors. This is for the jack cover. This is the actual original OEM jack that comes with it. These are the thingies that basically goes into the trunk. Speaker covers. This, I do believe they call it the parcel tray. I'll show it to you guys. It's basically this one at the back. If we open this one for you to see. This one. Mine is damaged, as you can clearly tell. It's not in good shape. And these speakers, they're not the original ones. So I'm planning to remove those ugly ones and get the original ones, or at least ones in the same size, put them there, and now that I've got the cover, all should be good. And this is the rubber, basically, that I need to replace. At the back, the pieces that go over here, one here, one there, and the wooden thingy goes there and yep it's ugly see this is the wood that I have the thingy 
see how moldy it is we need to chuck it and if you look closely over there this is the moldy part that i need to chuck now since we've got them so sweet now what we need to do now back in time like i said this is the piece we just need to trim it into shape and once that is done clean it properly clean this area properly so that we can install it uh, if you can see it's grayish in color that's because i put some primer now the reason why i put a primer is simply because i didn't want the rust to continue that's why i had to do that and uh, now i just need to clean it up cut it into shape and properly and everything and do that now what i'm planning to do i don't have a welding machine so the right repair will be to weld this piece into that once you weld it you clean the weld and then yada 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 it's sorted out i don't have a welding machine but i have the next best thing i've got jb weld so it's like epoxy but it works better than welding per se less hassle easier everybody can do it that is what i'm going to do I know it's not ideal, but trust me, it will work as strong as that. If you apply it correctly, we'll go to that. As for the bushings, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. yep, I've got WD-40 and I've been spraying this area because the plan is take this part out. The wishbone, if you like, or the triangle, which is the upper control arm. I need to get this one out in order to start replacing the stuff on it cool and there you have it there you go exact fit I used this basically with the Dremel tool and trimmed it exactly into shape not only that the actual metal this basically I hammered it just a bit so that it goes down so when I put the new piece on top it lines up perfectly so there's absolutely no line out no nothing it's just perfect and you see this is the jb weld once it dries out all what i need to do is just quickly sand it just to put it into shape before i applied the two pieces and the jb weld i made sure that the area itself is rust free and i used rust stop so all is good all what i needed to do basically just wait until it dries up applied a bit of a primer dried up then i applied this once this one is done quick sand just to put it into shape and after that primer then paint and it, you wouldn't even tell that this piece was replaced ain't that something a few moments later good morning just want to show you some progress over here there you go wet sanded the area cleaned it up and primed it so now you barely can tell that this piece was removed unless you've been told before and at that point you'll be like oh yeah look at this and look at that blah 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 keep in mind this area is going to be covered completely by the actual trim so you're not going to see that so whatever we're doing now is just to ensure that this will never rust again once that is done we'll just simply need to uh, paint the whole thing i was actually thinking to remove the whole trunk lid that way i can remove the seal itself and paint this whole area properly because either ways i still need to work on the trunk lid meanwhile let me show you what i got so far this is the spare tire yep it's clean i managed to clean it up the rust that you saw earlier was just only surface rust so i managed to clean it all up and bam primed and painted both sides this tire is brand new it never touched the ground look at the tread on that perfect and yep i'm painting the parts that we took out of the brake but today we're trying to work on the actual upper control arm we need to actually start assembling that anyways stay tuned for that if you like what you see you know what to do please consider subscribing uh, like share and everything pretty much uh, and you take care of yourself until i see you next time okay yellow